what's up guys how you doing welcome back to another video on the channel today we are here for the very first time on a game called anime rng which is a relatively popular rng game on roblox and in today's video we are going to be playing this game for 24 hours straight see if we can get some rare auras and overall max out but quickly before i jump into today's video just want to quickly say if you do end up enjoying it and want to see more then feel free to drop a like and sub down below also for today's video i'm going to be setting up a like goal once again so for today's video can we hit 50 likes if we can that would be absolutely amazing but anyways that's enough of that let's jump right into this so first things first how exactly does this game work well just like every single rng game we have a roll button right over here in the middle and then once we roll we will get a random aura for example we are going to be getting for the first one classic one and two that's no problem and then once we equip it we're going to be having some kind of effect around us now some of the rare auras have much more detail to them for example as you can see that is going to be if i'm not mistaken like the limitless yeah one in 9.5 million and i gotta be honest it looks really cool hopefully we can get our own by the end of this video but obviously that's going to depend on our luck now around the map there are going to be npcs offering us different boosts through different methods for example over here at the market uh, you can purchase boosts with cash for example the honored potion over here will be giving us a hundred percent luck boost along with a 30 percent cooldown decrease for five minutes and then there are some other ones heavy potion a hundred percent luck 650 dollars and then 500 dollars for 30 35% cooldown. Now the big question is how exactly do you get money? Well I believe I saw a sign somewhere over here. Here how to earn cash. Earn 20 cash every minute by just playing the game. Earn more cash per minute by purchasing the game passes in the store. Okay okay. So the longer we stay in the game pretty much the more boosts we'll get. I like that. But that's going to be something that will grind on the side. Now over here it is going to be relatively the same thing except you won't be using cash to craft these. You are going to be using auras that you already got. For example in this case we have the instinct potion which for 50 seconds will give us 300% luck. So that means you better be saving these and use them when you have the maximum amount of luck possible. But obviously to get these we are going to be needing all of these auras which probably some of them are going to be pretty rare. For example dark swordsman might be full we know one in a million so i might have to stick to these more cheaper potions for now uh, i guess we'll be back once i roll some more auras but i believe there's like two more npcs over here to check out uh, unlock free luck for joining the group okay workshop you can craft auras and items wait hold on items oh yeah this is going to be kind of like how you know in sol's rng there's like the gauntlets which give you like luck increases and whatnot this is going to be the same thing except it's anime themed of course and then the best one thunder drums over here we are going to be needing all of these auras and then to give us permanence 250 percent luck and 25 percent cooldown decrease now i'd really love to get that but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, but I guess we'll have to see. Once again, this is another NPC that we'll have a look at later. Now, the final thing, which is, if I'm not mistaken, over here, sacrifice auras. Now, this, from my understanding, you get an aura, let's say one in a million, and then for a 25% chance, it can get even rarer than that, but a 75% chance that will become more common. At least that's what I think this is trying to say. Um, if I'm saying it's completely wrong, please let me know down in the comments then that way at least i'll know for the future or maybe i'll find out by actually trying to sacrifice an aura later on since one in a thousand that isn't too rare we might be able to get a few of those but obviously we'll have to see now on the left side we have the index which obviously all the auras that we get can be found over here uh, we also have auras which you know we can just quickly select which ones we want to equip and delete uh, we also have storage which is going to be for all our potions and uh, buffs and whatnot and then the shop for any game passes that you guys may want now i'm not going to be buying any game passes in today's video but if you don't want to buy any of these you know where to find them since some of them are pretty good i mean two times better luck quick roll more cash you get the idea some of these game passes can really change how you play the game but anyways that's enough of me talking let's start off by putting on the auto roll right over here and let's see if we can get something good and nice okay four spins in and we managed to get the armament one in 24 now if we have a look at this this is going to be okay it looks pretty basic but then again it is pretty common like you shouldn't expect it to be as cool as some of those over there 
But you know what, hey, it's not that bad at all. But if we quickly turn off the auto roll, I just want to see, is there a way to put on like AFK or like change the settings of the auto skip? Yeah, let's set it to 100 over here. So then that's where I'm not like constantly having to skip over and over for the really common ones. So let's quickly put on the auto roll once again. And then I'll see you guys once I get something really, really rare. And okay, not even five seconds later, we got Tornadic, which once we equip, this is going to be okay. Not too bad. We now have a nice tornado aura around us and we are going to be continuously rolling. Uh, that There was a two times luck over there. So maybe we get something good. Okay darkness yeah that was only one in 12 so not that good now what i think i'm going to do now is probably i'm going to afk here for around the next two to three hours and then i'll cut back we'll have a look see if i manage to get anything super you know one in a thousand or maybe even one in a million who knows see so yeah, i'm just going to be sitting here i'm going to also be doing a short time lapse so i'll be seeing you guys in around two to three hours And okay, there we go. We are now back. And if we have a quick look at my aura inventory, there are a lot of new ones that we have not seen before. Starting off at the most common one, we have 1 in 92 idol, then 1 in 101 golden hero, 1 in 310, 1 in 894, and then the final one, and aka the best aura that I have right now, 1 in 2450. Let's quickly equip that and have a look at it. And okay, nice. It looks pretty good. However, it's not as insane as, for example, that one over there. So at the moment, we can't really say that we've gotten our final aura yet. But don't worry, we're still only three hours in. There's still like another 21 hours of rolling left to go. And as I said before, anything can happen. I could get one in a million, one in a billion. Okay, let's be realistic. I'm not getting one in a billion. But one in a million, that is possible. At least realistically. So I guess for the time being, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get back over to you know rolling but before i do that let me just quickly showcase what i've been doing i have been brewing a little bit for example i managed to get two of these heavy potions which give me a 100 luck boost for five minutes and as well i managed to get the saiyan tail which permanently gives me 30 percent more luck now the saiyan tail isn't exactly the best one i think it's actually the worst one that you can get at the moment but don't worry i am working on the other ones for example just to show you guys this is where i'm currently on like progression wise uh, ninja headband i just need an energy once uh, samurai mask i need hot and cold and two enraged and then straw hat i managed to get stretchy killer so i can obviously use that and put it in here and then when it comes to um flame i haven't gotten yet tail beast neither but i have gotten one reincarnated so i just need one more and yes yeah, time progresses we can start working on these even harder ones but much more overpowered gauntlets but anyways i'm gonna get back to auto rolling i'll see you guys in around uh maybe 10 hours eight hours something like that at least and hopefully when you see me again i'm going to have a really cool aura and okay there we go we have now hit the eight hour mark and if we have a look at my aura inventory let's just say my luck really cooked i'm not joking if you have a look at this it's one in 14,780 dark swordsman let's equip him quickly and let's see how cool this is and wow okay not gonna lie this is one of the cleanest auras that i've seen in a while and it's even animated as well yeah let's just say slowly slowly our auras are definitely improving uh we also got this one over here rage one in eight thousand which unfortunately it doesn't really look that's good but then again it could be because it is nighttime at the moment so yeah maybe in the day this might look absolutely insane so i guess i'll have to have a look at it you know once oh and there we go just as i was talking about it and yeah you know what i take it back immediately this looks pretty cool in the day but anyways heading back over here to the crafting and more specifically the where is it i think the straw hat yeah i'm really close to getting this i only need one more tailed beast which unfortunately i don't have at the moment uh we're also really close to making uh the mage mask as well i just need one world and one more 
were awakened. And then the rest of these I am getting much closer. For example, as you saw before, I already have the rage, so that's already filled in. Uh, for the demon box, I already have the dark swordsman, so I can fill this in as well. And then the thunder drums, I'm nowhere close. I have not even seen Rose or Desert King. A uh, world I still need to get, and then we need three dark swordsmen. Actually, you know what? I think I have an idea. If we head on over here to the sacrifice auras, and then let's see what exactly we can get. Okay, so 75% chance to get the world, and 25% chance to get Desert King. I see, and if we have a look at all of the others, um... Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth to sacrifice at the moment. But hey, that's fine since I guess I can keep on opening up for rages. That way if I don't get any of the worlds, then, you know, I can get it. Uh, I can keep on hatching for Dark Swordsman since I'll get one of the things that I need regardless. So you know what? I'm going to put on auto equip on all of these. Uh, I'm not going to get one for this one. I'm actually going to start deleting all of these lower ones since I really don't need it at the moment. Oh yeah, also another thing that I've been working on in the background is I'm trying to get at least one of these instinct potions, which I'm really, really close to getting. For example, I have the Dark Swordsman. I just need two True Kings. And then yeah, we'll be able to roll with 300% luck for 50 seconds. And then if we stack that up with some of the other potions, for example, this one over here, the heavy potion, the medium potion, and as well the light potion, we will get a whopping, if I'm not mistaken, like 400% luck? No, 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 like 600%, yeah. And you know what? That's pretty insane, especially as well if you consider this honored potion, that would push it even further to 700%. In fact, I can make one right now, so let's just quickly brew one, and then can I make any of the other ones can i make a heavy potion no can i make a medium no and neither a light one okay i guess i'll just continue grinding for those you know over the next like 16 hours now as well i am going to be saving up for if i'm not mistaken uh actually you know there's no need because i can just craft these there's no point wasting my money if needs be i'll just sell instead i think that would be even better that way i can unlock more aura space and whatnot and then yeah we'll be able to keep more auras when i afk overnight but anyways that's enough talking from me i'll see you guys at the 24 hour mark and all right there we go we are now back at the 24 hour mark and if we have a look at my auras Unfortunately, we weren't that lucky this time. We did manage to get another Dark Swordsman though, which is not too bad at all. Uh, and this way, we did actually finally get the final Tail Beast that I needed in order to get, if I'm not mistaken, not the Mage Mask, the other one, like the Straw Hat. Yes, this one, the Straw Hat. And once I craft it, it is going to be giving me 95% extra luck, which is pretty OP, which I'll definitely pop on right now, just like so. Also, by the way, another thing which I managed to get was this Anti-Mage, which it doesn't have a rarity because it's one of the free auras that you get. But the reason that I'm mentioning this is because once we equip it, as you can see, it looks pretty cool, especially at night time. I think night time really complements it. And yeah, I'm a big Black Clover fan as well, so maybe I'm a bit biased because of that. But you can't lie, this aura looks pretty clean. But anyways, this is where I'm going to be leaving off today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, we have tried another game on Roblox, and I got to be honest, this game was pretty fun. Now, if you do want to see me back on this game where maybe I try another 24-hour challenge, or maybe I try getting some of the best items that we can craft, then you know exactly what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button with notifications on and also feel free to join my discord server it is going to be links in the description and yeah apart from that i think that's everything that i have to say i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody